Still in Okwaibom, the State House of Assembly has urged local government executives to utilize state funds to provide transformative projects for their constituents. Chairman of the House Committee on Local Government and Chief of State Affairs, Honorable Mfonidong, disclosed this during a tour of various local government areas of the state. The tour was done to access the level of work done by local government executives in the last six months. ADB and correspondent Dev De Song, who joined the tour, completes the reports. Sworn in in December 2023, the outgoing transition committee members served as local government executives in the 31 local government areas for six months and the need to extend their tenure arose. To this effect, Akwaibom State House of Assembly Committee on Local Government and Chief Tenancy Affairs toured round some local government areas in the state to assess performance of transition members. First stop was Uyo Local Government Area Secretariat, where committee members were received by the chairman, Honorable Uemedimo Udo, who said they have done over 36 kilometer railroad grading, including education and agricultural advancement. We've undertaken grading of rural roads. Um, we've done 33 kilometers, director. 33.6 kilometers of rural road grading this year alone uh, in the last six months. The committee thereafter moved to Ibesipo Asutan local government secretariat and immediately questioned the quality of project done in the council. Oh, it's not great. Look at this wall. It's not great. Yes, it's not after receiving a vote of no confidence by the chairman of the House Committee, Local Government and Chief Tenancy Affairs, Chairman of Ibesupo Asutan Transition Committee, Honorable Ako Nasuko, tried to redeem her image by listing the projects done by her administration. We've been able to screen the students of Ibesupo Asutan within these six months so that we can pay them bursary and the bursary is ready for them after we publish the names for the beneficiaries. Next stop was the local government headquarters of Nsidibum, where members were greeted by a large farm cultivating maize, cassava, and other agricultural produce pioneered by the chairman of the transition committee of Nsidibum, Honorable Otobon Aaron. You see what we have in Nsidibum local government, the farm that we are cultivating, we have um, tomatoes, we, we have tomatoes, we have um, the hot pepper, we have bell pepper, or just a patrol vehicle for um, the division, police division here in Nsadibum. The team journeyed to Nsadubium local government area, where members were received by the transition chairman, architect Inyobong Orok. Women can be empowered through a certain system that causes them to receive money, go and trade for a period of six months, bring back that money so that more women can be empowered and those that succeed in bringing the money will be given a grant. Lastly, members made a quick stop at 18 and local government area to assess level of work done by transition committee chairman of 18 and Honorable Ukomo. Reconnection of 18 and local government council to national grid and payment of outstanding debt for the PHEDC. Rehabilitation of council ambulance hires was for use. On his part, Chairman of the House Committee on Local Government and Chief Tenancy Affairs, Honorable Mfonidong, applauded the chairman for their efforts while charging them to provide more life-changing projects for their constituents. We need to also help our governor, who is performing so very well, going from one local government to the other. You see projects all over. And Anybody who is at the tier of government should also do that in its local government. The House will continue its tour to other local government areas as part of its oversight function and provide citizens with the dividends of democracy by holding government executives accountable. David Isong, ADBN News.